I have a feeling there's a lot of people that like, I can't deal with X thing unless we're playing this game, in which case I will deal with X thing because it it puts it in a certain like lens, a certain context that I don't want to say makes sense, but feels more appropriate, I guess. I don't know. You know? Yeah, well, so it, it, you know what it is, right? It's the. I, I don't know what to refer to this. I, I almost said like situational consent, but that's not really the word I'm looking for. It's you like, know, you don't. You, you, well, you, you might like, you know, maybe you lost an arm or something uh, in your tragic personal backstory. <laughs> in your real life backstory. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe you really don't want to be reminded of uh, losing said arm. But if you go, oh, I want to watch 127 hours because as much as I'm not happy or comfortable this with this media, typically I relate to it on a weird way. This person, even though they're fake, went through what I went through and I have like a deep emotional connection to it despite my discomfort and I still want to do it. There's context there, you know? Yeah, it's like. It's like a lot of the time, the thing people don't. What? You know, well, you know, so you know what that is. There's actually a phrase for this. There's a there's a psychology. What I just talked about. Yeah. Um, There's this phrase in psychology called benign masochism. Oh, yes, I know. what this is. Yeah. And it's the idea that you are essentially agreeing to put yourself in an uncomfortable and or semi masochistic scenario because you understand, you know, you have the wherewithal to know that it is benign uh, and you kind of want to get the feel bad juice a little bit on purpose. Um, And the most common example of benign masochism is horror movies, right? You go to see a horror movie and, you know, in real life, if you're walking around and you see a man get stabbed with a machete, you are not going to be very comfortable in that scenario. But if you go to see the next Friday the 13th movie and you see a man get stabbed with a sh- machete, you almost kind of want to see someone get stabbed with a machete because you're sort of accepting that benign masochism into your soul, your heart, whatever, your brain, you know? Um, yep. So... Yeah, in the tabletop context, it can be much the same in that you are like, it's really the thing that people really don't like is not bad things not happening. People don't like getting blindsided is really what it is, right? If you're playing Monster Hearts and suddenly the entire high school is, you know, bought in like enslaved the reason you're mad about that isn't necessarily because of the slavery thing so much as because you're like, wait, we all agreed to that. We were going to do high school drama and the heavy thing that was going to be involved was like, you know, the shit that goes on with high school drama. You know, we didn't the the benign masochism we signed up for in monster hearts is things like uh, observing our gender and dealing with like maybe, you know, emotional abuse. We did not sign up for the benign masochism of slavery <laughs> being yes. unaddressed. So it's like, yeah, this this whole thing of you can do the thing you don't like as long as you know that's what you're doing. So really, the problem isn't so much the thing you don't like as being blindsided by the thing you don't like. You know, uh, the reason someone might be pissed off about their character turning into a mind flayer is because they were informed that we're doing, you know, a fucking spell jammer campaign where we're going to be space pirates. I didn't think I was going to have to deal with mind flayer body horror. <laughs> so it's the blindsiding in a lot of ways that is often not a hundred percent, but that is often a big crux of the problem. I feel like. Yes. And, and it really do be as simple as Right. It doesn't have to be this big uh, up and up that I think and I, I think a lot of people are. I, I agree with you that people are like I keep saying I agree with you. Uh, yeah, you should stop doing that. 
Uh, I did do. I've disagreed quite a, on quite a few things in this episode, but like I think there's it's probably pretty fifty fifty actually. There's like like oh yeah, I agree with that. And there's things like uh, I don't know about that one, but you know probably. Uh, yeah, the the I think the mind flayer or the transformation thing pretty much as is as simple as hey all there's like some weird Cthulhu transformation transformation. I don't know why I pronounced that so weird the first time. <laughs> uh, some weird like Cthulhu transformation consequences going on in this game. We go with that. And yeah or nay, yeah, like yeah, yeah or nay. And if someone's like, um, I'm kind of not. Can that lot like be a thing for me? And then you go, uh, all right. Anyone else got a problem? And then if you know, assuming that they go, uh, nah, fam, fuck me up. You go, all right. Well, you're just gonna get it the worst. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fam, give me those tentacles. All right, tentacles, uh, it is, baby. What what was? It was, it was, it was, Josh, you were in the game. Oh, no, it was, it was literally Curse of, Curse of Strahd, right? Where, like, Sam felt not, didn't really feel bad horribly murdering Claw or oh, Barrack yeah. because you were like, nah, fuck me up, fam. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I'm on the record of saying fuck me up, fam, in terms of killing my characters all the time. So, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> okay, this, uh, here, here's, this is a dumb question. If you're if you're playing, you know, Mr. X has like a, a familiar uh, class, like a monster as class. Uh -huh. I know you don't like the animal violence. Would you if you played that character, would you still be like, nah, fuck me up, fam? Or would you be like, uh, maybe oh, don't chronic long swords to the chest me if I like literally am playing like an owl bear? You mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I think it would be kind of shitty of me to be like no my character is immune to bad things um so like i would still allow it i would just say if my owl bear character is brutally murdered just you know they are stabbed end of discussion or whatever you know like don't tell me how the orcs like cut all the legs off and then spit roast the owl bear or some shit like just you know orc stab owl bear and then we're good. You know what I mean? You want orc stab owlbear or full on Gallagher with the tree? <laughs> well, let's just, <laughs> yeah. The I owl mean, bear looks at his companions and then splat. Yeah. I mean, and everyone goes, Ooh. <laughs> yeah, like for sure. If I'm playing like, you know, a warg, right? I Like, yeah, I would prefer we not like gruesomely murder the warg, but like, obviously the character dying is on the table has consequences so i'll be like yeah you know they die and then that's kind of yeah just like don't be brutal about it is really all it is fair enough i was just kind of curious for i guess well because morbid curiosity's sake well because you know i mean i don't know fucking i don't know hate me internet i guess i don't know whatever and like maybe some people will be like oh you only feel this way because you've never had trauma uh, I mean, don't assume things, um, <laughs> you know, uh, but for me, it's like, even if I don't like a thing to be present in a game, I'm not, I don't want to be the difficult one that brings everything to a screeching halt because I'm like uncomfortable about a thing. I, I just like I am trying to be as little difficulty as possible. I'm not trying to create any problems, you know, so, uh, you know, we're playing Curse of Strahd and I say I would prefer we not do a lot of animal murdering. And then it's like, well, there's a lot of like random wolves attacking you in Curse of Strahd. I'm going to be like, OK, you know, yeah, that's fair. Like, all right, I'll deal and just, you know. Can you at least make them weird shadow hounds? I Don't want, make I mean, them arf when I slash yeah, them. Like, well, th right. So that's that's the line, right? Like, okay, so we're killing the wolves. Don't tell me how the wolf arfs and cries out in pain. You know, like I don't need that descriptor. But I'm not gonna be so difficult and be like, take all wolves out of the game. You know what I mean? Like, mm. it's just it's just uh, like unnecessary difficulty. I can deal with it a little bit and not, yeah. Like as long as you're not being a cock about it. You know, and also, if a thing does happen and it really like you actually get like genuinely triggered, and I mean like the legitimate use of the word, um, 
you know, deal with it in the moment. GM says sorry, you know, whatever. And then, you know, as long as you don't do it again, you're probably okay. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Look, people make mistakes. If, if you it, do just, it again, you're a uh, you're a piece of shit at that point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then, I mean, like, if, if, if you <laughs> if I say don't make the wolves arf, and then you specifically go and download a sound bite of like a wolf dying in real life, and then play that every time, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's a brutally specific example, but you know. <laughs> yes, that is a very brutally <laughs> that specific would be, example. That would be some sociopath behavior. <laughs> Correct. <laughs>